five, four, three, two, one. Ta-da! Break. <laughs> Hi, my name is Paul Schneider. I'm the president of the County of Los Angeles Fire Museum. Today we are showing you the world famous Engine 51, the War of the France that was filmed in a TV show, Emergency. We recently actually got it back about a year and a half ago from Yosemite, and we haven't done too much to it since we got it back. But here we are at our Bellflower location of the County of Los Angeles Fire Museum, and we've decided that it's time to start working on Engine 51's restoration. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to start painting it here real soon, but what we want to do, first of all, is to appeal to you, all the fans, to send us as many images as you can from the show that show what the vehicle looked like in its prime, especially how it was outfitted in all of the compartments. So today we're going to just do a tour around the fire engine to show you what it looks like today. Currently we've, we've put some magnets over the doors to hide the Yosemite Fire Department logos on it and to make it look more accurate. And there's a few things we know that we have to do. We have to take the light bar off the top and get rid of these spotlights, fill in some holes in the cab, and uh, just basically go all the way around it and remove all the modifications that it underwent in the last 20, 25 years, actually 30 years. So what we'll do is we'll walk around it all the way around with all the compartments closed, and then we'll walk around again with the compartments open, and you can see what it looks like inside today. It's not glamorous, it's dirty, there's a lot of junk in it but uh, it's time for us to do our research to find out what this vehicle needs to look like to capture its glory days as a star of the TV show Emergency. We're standing here on the left side of the cab. You'll notice that there are some holes on the side of the cab where Yosemite Fire Department or the Camp Curry Company had installed some light masts. So we know we have to fill those holes. We have a few questionable bolts here that we believe we need to fill. And uh, we know, definitely know we need to repaint the whole vehicle and put the proper logo on it. But if any of you viewers see anything else on the side of the cab that needs to be changed to bring it back to its original configuration, please let us know. The pump panel of the fire engine is pretty much standard and we believe it hasn't been modified too much, but there are a few things that we know that are not correct. So again, take a look at uh, your pictures that you've seen of this vehicle and any of the uh, video stills you can capture off the, uh, the episodes and help us out. We know during the show it did not have the number one here and there's been a few changes, more modern relief valve. Obviously we need to find we need to find caps so we're looking for help on this section too. Again we want to make sure this thing looks exactly like it did in uh, the middle of the show in the seasons from uh, season three to the conclusion of the episodes. So look at all your pictures and uh, please feel free to send us any comments and, and uh, information that we may need. Now we're back to the left portion of the vehicle and we have the compartments and again we realize that most of these compartments, again all these compartments were not numbered during the show so we know we need to remove that. We believe that the hard sections are not of the right, the right period, they should have brass ends. And what we're looking for is if there's any other information, anything else up higher that needs to be replaced. Everything else is fairly self-explanatory uh, self on this part of the vehicle. When we go around, after we finish the tour of the vehicle, we'll come back and we'll open all the compartments and in there, see how it looks now. And that's where we really want to find information on what equipment was carried in each one of these compartments during the filming of the show. The back of the fire engine has been modified. We know that there's been additional hose bed dividers added by the Camp Curry Company and uh, other modifications. They actually took the, the, the monitor from the top of the vehicle. We do have all the, the monitor and its base. So we, we, we will replace that. So again, uh, look at your videos and uh, images. We wanted to find out how it was set up with the hose beds, which one of these discharges had the appliances of the gated wise on them. You know, they had hose packed down in here, anything. Again, the, the idea is to make this as accurate as possible. And if anybody out there happens to have the Ward the France corner pieces that go on the tailboard, Engine 51 is missing those, so if you have those, it'd be great to, if you can donate those or offer them to us for sale. We are, we are fairly confident that this area of the fire engine is as it was during the show, as far as its layout, the ladders, the pike poles, you know, obviously the number was not on the rear compartment, and we just want to make sure that the, this decking area here wasn't painted red or if it was painted silver. And again, 
This is fairly a simple area. We know we need a cap, but equipment was carried on the running board. So if we could find any of that type of equipment or any images that showed exactly what it was carrying, again, very helpful. So we move up, move up to the cab area here. Again, we know we have holes to fill here and a repainting. Other than that, it looks fairly as it was during the show. When we get to the top of the vehicle, we will also ask for any equipment that may have been carried on the top, such as the smoke ejectors, salvage covers, breathing apparatus, any types of tools that you guys may have seen in the show or have a good image of, please uh, forward those to us. The front of the vehicle needs some care as well. We know we have to remove the spotlights, as I mentioned earlier. We have to take the light bar off, put the old style light on top, remove the numbers here. Other than that, I think we're pretty close to what it needs to be. We do have images of this vehicle when it was in the show, and we do have a lot of reference material. But we know that you, the fans, have much more that can help us, and we also want to give you the opportunity to be a part of the restoration of Engine 51. So that basically shows you the exterior of the vehicle, and we're going to now move on to the cab and the compartments and the firefighter jump seats. We need your help with the photos, with video clips. We also need your help is with money. <laughs> we hope to restore this vehicle starting at the end of this year, start the restoration at least. We're looking at a probably a $50,000 restoration. That's with us doing all the labor. You can go to our website, lacountyfiremuseum.com and uh, click on the links there and donate. Be part of the restoration of Engine 51 uh, with your photos, with your video clips, with your money, Come visit us, and within the next couple of years, when this project is done, you could take a little extra piece of pride knowing that you contributed to the restoration of Engine 51. We hope to see you soon at our Bellflower Building. Location is on our website, again, lacountyfiremuseum.com. Thank you very much for your time and all of your assistance. Oh, we gotta stop and take a break. <laughs>